Alcatraz O'Hearn is not only one of the most fascinating people who ever visited and lived in Japan, but he's a, an amazing example of an expatriate, someone who felt more at home in another country than he did in his own. Uh, as for me, I was born in the United States and raised there, and I lived my life in Japan and Australia, and I'm an Australian citizen, but I understand how, uh, very well how Lafcadio O'Hearn felt. But he was born in 1850 on a small island in the Ionian Sea in Greece, and when he was two years old, he was taken to Dublin. And he spent his early years in Ireland and the UK. But at age 19, he went to the United States, and he became a very famous journalist of the macabre, of crime, horror, uh, he loved the Rue Morgue, he loved, the, uh, he loved uh, corpses, felt more at home with corpses than he did with, with living people. I don't identify him <laughs> uh, on that score. And, um, and then, in 1890, at age 40, he arrived in Japan and he spent the last 14 years of his life in Japan. And he became, in that time, the person who is considered today by the Japanese to be the foreigner who best understands them. And yet, in the West, he's sort of forgotten. So if you come along on November 2nd at 7 p.m. to the Japan Foundation offices, uh, I'll be speaking about Hearn. And I want to answer this question. Who was Lafcadio Hearn, this orphan of Europe? And how did he conquer Japan? What was he like? And what should we think of him now? Hope to see you then.